Hi, David Owies here from Basketball Victoria to quickly show you how to score a game using the PlayHQ electronic scoring system. From the list of upcoming games, select the game to be scored, which will typically be the game at the top of this list. This will open the scoring interface. The first task is to confirm the player lineup for each team by clicking the corresponding Add Lineup button. Now, from the list of registered players, simply click the relevant Add button and, if needed, adjust a player's signalet number. If a player is not listed, click the Add Fill-in link and have the player or parent complete the requested details. Once you are happy, click the Done button and repeat for the second team. If required, you can add and remove coaching staff in a similar fashion via their own edit button in the coaches list. You are now ready to start scoring the game. Click the start button to start the clock. You can pause the clock at any time using the same button. And if need be, edit the game clock via the edit button. I'll start the clock again here. To add points scored by a player, either click the player's name and number and then assign the relevant number of points scored or Select the number of points scored and add those to the relevant player. In a similar fashion, fouls can be attributed to a player by clicking the foul button and then clicking the player's name and number or clicking the player's name and number and assigning the relevant foul. Towards the right of the foul button, is a selection that can be made for specific foul types, such as a technical foul. If at any stage you make a mistake, you can undo your last action via the undo action button towards the bottom left of the screen. Or you can go into the game's event log and review each action recorded during the game and delete an action that was made by error. To end the period of play, pause the clock and via the left hand top actions button, select end period. This automatically prepares the system for the next period of play. Starting the clock immediately starts that next period. At the end of the game, just pause the clock and a referee or stadium official will confirm the game score and prepare the system for the next game.